Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, January 15th, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trading and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join us. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have in the end of the session uh, pulled back quite a bit. So we're down 0 0.36. So this is um, barely anticipated because we are going to get a new administration in the United States. And that you know, administration will be focused on uh, to end the coronavirus and also to add additional stimulus to the U.S. economy in order to get it back going again. Um, the technical economy has been decimated, not just in the United States, but everywhere. And both in Europe and, and elsewhere, you are going to see a lot of spending the next few years. Yes, that will be in the long run will be uh, terrible by because it will create a lot of debt. But first of all, you need an economy in order to uh, get rid of debt. So they are going to pile in a lot more debt and they are going to pump it into the market and that is going to be bullish for this uh, for the, for the stocks and, and 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 indices and so on uh, but before that happens i think that we're going to see this go back towards this trend line uh, i do not think that we are going to rally from here i just think that we're going to just gradually go towards this trend line and then rally again we are in a upward channel and um, as long as we just keep within these uh, parameters, it is fairly um, uh, predictable where we are technically going. Top of the channel is a sell, bottom of the channel is basically a buy-in. I don't like to sell, sell these things, so I technically just focus on the bottom. So every time we get close to the 100 move, you know, the 20 exponential or this trend line here, that is basically a, buy, a buying opportunity. So I think that we are going to see this market go roughly to uh, 3,750, give or take. And our target for this will be uh, 3,900. That is most likely where we're going next. So we're going to go down here, and then we are going to rally back towards this uh, price level here, which is 3,900, uh, uh, 3, uh, give or take. So next target after that will be 4,000. Technical indicators, they are turning around. They are bullish, but they are turning around. MACD is above the signal line. The RSI is turning around. It's on the edge of being overbought. CCI is turning around. We are on the basically at the top of the bullish band here. We were, and now we're going back towards the middle, which is, uh, well, a little bit lower than I expect, where we, I expect this to pull back. Uh, the stochastic is uh, uh, becoming bearish at this point. So it is fairly likely that we are going to see this market uh, pull back or this indice. So let's look at Dow Jones. So as you can see, we have tried to break out of these previous highs and that failed. At this point, I think that we are going to pull back towards a 20 exponential. That's a drop of roughly 1.18%. Um, and yes, that would make sense. Pull back here and then rally. We're basically overstretched. We have been for quite some time. So a pullback towards the middle of the Bollinger Band, roughly 30,500. There you will see a lot of buyers come in and push this to uh, uh, 32,000. So technical indicators, otherwise they are turning around and we are also overbought at this current point. So pullbacks are basically buying opportunity. So this is basically where we are going to most likely enter in a target of these previous highs but i think this next rally will basically break these previous highs so the next target will most likely be 31,500 or 32,000 in the long run so let's look at the nasdaq so nasdaq has pulled back before the other ones that you can see most of these tech stocks had a horrible day and especially facebook uh, did not do very well today. Technical indicators are all turning around at this current stage. We basically hit the top of the bullish band and then broke down. 
At this point, our target will most likely be around 12,800. That is most likely where we're going to see uh, a lot of buyers come back in. And our target will roughly be 13,300. That is probably where we are heading to. So around this area. So we'll pull back towards this area here and then we'll rally towards this area here. So we are in a channel, uh, same as the S&P 500. And as long as we are in this channel, it is fairly predictable basically when we are supposed to enter this market and uh, what the target is going to be in the long run. So yes, pull back towards 12,800. That is your buying opportunity, stop loss underneath and the target of 13,300. So let's look at Apple. So Apple fell today. Basically, all of these tech stocks that we are looking at on a daily basis fell today. And uh, some of them are surprising. For example, Facebook and also Netflix, which I expected to be rallying. They had a horrible day today. So Apple down 1.5%. We are trading, uh, trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So this will most likely open the door to the 40 exponential Moving average, that's roughly two more percent down, and that will also coincide with the NASDAQ falling. Uh, technical indicators are very bearish at this point, so yes, it is very likely. So that fall will also coincide with hitting the bottom of this Bollinger Band here, and uh, the entry point for this market for a buy, because I don't like selling this, because we are basically in an uptrend and we're just pulling back a little bit. It's uh, 126 dollars a share the target is these previous highs here so at 138 that is basically our target for for apple stock so let's look at amazon so amazon fell back to support here at 150 moving average and uh, yes at this point i think that we are going to see a massive rally from amazon entry point is basically here so 3120 Target are these previous highs here of 3,341. Technical indicators are turning around for Amazon stock. Uh, for example, Stochastic is looking very bullish now. Um, we haven't hit the bottom of the bullish band, but I don't think that we're going to. Um, as RSI is flat and fairly low for the stock, uh, but the MACD and the CCI are still bearish. So let's look at uh, Microsoft. So fell 1.5% today. We are falling back towards support. Technical indicators have all turned around. So this is not looking very good, but I don't think that we're going to break 150. We're also on the edge of the, basically the bottom of the Bollinger Band, and we are on the edge of being oversold. So this is a definitely a buy-in here at 211, and the target of roughly 227. So Facebook is doing horribly here. So we are, we have crossed the 200 moving average. We are getting really close. Well, to be fairly honest, I don't think we're going lower than this, but I have been saying that for quite some time now, actually for the last four trading days. So look what basically happened here. This has been uh, very surprising, but of course, when you kick the president of the United States or the most powerful man in the world off your platform, it probably will have quite a lot of consequences. So I would still consider this area here to be major buying opportunity. So entry point uh, where we are right at the moment with a stop loss underneath and the target of these previous highs. So that is a trade of roughly, at this point, roughly 19%. So we have fallen 19% from, from these previous highs, and that is a lot a massive fall for this stock. This is Facebook. This is the most popular, popular stock for most big investors. If you look at technical indicators, we, they are still looking very bearish, but we are on the edge of being oversold. And that does not happen very often with Facebook stock, that it basically is oversold. Last time was over here, and then we had one here, and then this one where we have... Um, but we haven't basically tested or crossed the 200 moving average for a really long time. So, so it'll be interesting basically what happens uh, tomorrow. But 
this was a horrible day for Facebook stock. So yes, let's look at Tesla. Tesla fell a little bit, 1.1%, but I think that this is just the beginning of a massive fall towards the 20 exponential moving average. That's where you will see uh, people starting buying this very aggressively again. So expect this to fall 10.26%, give or take. Uh, Technical indicators are turning around to the downside. We are majorly overbought here. We are also overstretched in the Bollinger Band. So this is a perfect setup to basically a pullback towards the 20. So entry point would be around uh, 747. The target would be these previous highs here at 888. Probably it will go next run to 900 and the stop loss right underneath here. So that is basically our, our plan. So let's look at Google. So Google rallied and then broke down quite aggressively. And at this point, uh, if you look at technical indicators, it is fairly likely that we'll fall even further. So a fall towards the bottom of the Bollinger Band, that is roughly a fall of 1.78%, even more. And that will basically bring us back to support. And then we'll most likely rally from there. So the same for Google as for Facebook. They have been in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons for the last few weeks. So expect this to just stay within this range or fall down even more. But um, if you look at other technical indicators, they are all very bearish at this point. So Netflix, this was a stock that I was expecting to be rally towards these previous highs here, but instead it fell back towards the 150 moving average. Yes, um, at this point, yes, what do you say? Technical indicators are turning around. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a rally back towards the 20. Stochastic is turning around, RSI is turning around, CCI is turning around. The bullish band here is showing signs of basically live to the upside, and the, the MACD is basically also starting to turn around. It's still bearish, but it's turning around. So it is possible to enter here. Um, I would have a quite big of a stop loss down here, and then I would target these previous highs. That is what I would do for in this trade. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.